Thursday night, your game is probably Saturday night, I saw the Meg, and boy, well, really weird film this was. I mean, this apparently is based off a series of novels, or apparently the first in a series of novels, that apparently only to share the same title, the characters, in the same situation that they're in, because quite frankly, this film is just, really, it's right up there with a great episodes of Mystery Science Zero 3000. Jason Statham plays a professional diver, I guess, who that is, because quite frankly, that's, trust me, folks, I, 24 hours after seeing this film, I practically have forgotten basically most aspects outside of the fact that Jason Statham apparently must be a professional diver, then quits his profession after one thing goes wrong, and then he's brought back because his ex-wife is trapped down in an area that's below the Mariana Trench, an underwater research station that's funded by Rain Wilson, and also another Chinese guy whose daughter is Li Bingbing, whose English is basketball basically, and has a precocious eight-year-old daughter that you only see in the films. And this film primarily is funded for the fact that, hey look, there's an international Chinese market out there, and we'll set it out there, just like Skyscraper was. And just like Skyscraper, I found myself not interested. The plot is absolutely absurd. The problem here is, take this thing seriously for the fact that Megalodon is out there. I mean, Brad, yes, maybe the novel actually absolutely tried to take the thing seriously. This whole this situation is absurd, and they don't go with that. I mean, I was laughing, folks. I was just laughing at just the weirdness of all this. It's easy to figure out who's going to die first and what, how the next set of characters is going to die. Yes, you expect Rain Wilson to live in this thing because he's a bad guy. Do you expect him to live? Who knows? I won't tell you. I mean, Robert Taylor's in here from Longmire. Hey, you expect a guy from Longmire to live? <laughs> well, I have to see the film to find out. Again, Jason Seatham, hey look, he has his shirt off. Isn't he sexy, folks? Yes, sexy time is here. When it comes, when it comes to recent beta shark films, I mean, look, it's, it's below Jaws, it's below Deep Blue Sea, it's, it's below The Shallows, but thankfully it's above all the Asylum short films, all the knockoff of Jaws. It's like, at least it's better than Jaws 3 and 4 and all the Sharknado stuff out there. I mean, yes, we just wait for the money shots of the shark killing people. Because apparently the studios think to themselves, oh look, people are too stupid ass to take encounter people for the name Megalodon, because they don't think anyone will recognize the name Megalodon. I mean, again, there's Ruby Rose in this thing, and again, apparently she nearly drowned on set, which, hey look, congratulations for surviving, but her talents, whatever they may be, are completely wasted in this film. I mean, the jokes really don't land. I mean, Jason Satham, I mean, literally, I can say Transporter 2 is probably his best film that he's done. Actually, I truly like The Bank Job, that's also a very underrated film. When it comes to John Turtletub, I mean, again, I know that everyone loves the National Treasure films. I know a whole bunch of people love While You Were Sleeping. I know a whole lot of people love Cool Runnings. And somewhere I just wonder, why can't they just set this in Jamaica? But then again, hey look, Jamaica is not a billion dollar empire. I sat there with a whole bunch of people and basically a lot of them acknowledge, yes, Mr. Science Theater 3000 should do this film next season. If you're watching this, Netflix, do that. So in the end, folks, what I'm going to say about the Meg, to me, this is strictly a Netflix ranking. I have bigger fish to fry, ha-ha, pun intended, when it comes to the worst things of the year. Because this thing, I just found myself thinking, can we get this on the show? And it really takes a long time for it to get going. So, folks, the Meg, what would you think? What's your favorite shark film in the recent years? As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, merge yourself with knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks.